longer and healthier lives. A lot of Americans are working way past typical retirement age. So if you're over 50, not yet, and ready to get back into the game or want a career change, we're about to find out where the jobs actually are and how to compete with the 20-somethings out there who are trying for them, too. Tom Gimbel, a friend of ours, is president and CEO of LaSalle Network, a recruitment service. Good to have you back. Great to be here. All right. It is an issue, isn't it? Yeah, it's an issue, but you don't have to give in, right? We're not, we're not giving up the fight when you hit 50. Right, but what jobs are out there for people from 50 and over? Well, I think there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of operational and back-end administrative type, and I don't mean administrative assistant and receptionist type jobs, yeah. but really compliance. So look, we were talking about the Affordable Care Act and what that's doing for companies. There's a lot more compliance positions that are open. So detail-oriented, over 50, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of opportunities. Okay, for so let's start. Let's break it down. So you say that the things, the areas where we can get jobs, healthcare, education, and nonprofits, those yes. are the three. What about healthcare? Start there. What well, I mean, healthcare is kind of the obvious choice, and it's not cleaning out bedpans, right? I mean, this is going in. Well, there will always be that. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. And hopefully, when I'm old, there'll be somebody to do that for me. Uh, right. But the fact of the matter is, there's a lot of work in hospitals, whether it's um, accounting, yeah. whether it's marketing, right? Yeah. Human resources. There's a lot of jobs, and they don't necessarily always pay at the top end of the scale. Then why is somebody going to buy uh, hire a 50 year old over a, a cute little saucy 22 year old? Well, because the cute. <laughs> Your cute little 20 saucy, 20 year old saucy yeah. one is going to work for dot com. Do yeah. they want to work in the hospital? Yeah. Right? yeah. right? So bring in somebody who's more excited about the opportunity than maybe the environment. Okay, okay. what about education? That's the next one. Well, colleges and universities, especially, we're coming out of the recession. In a recession, there's always people who are going back to school. Yeah. And in that case, you need adjunct professors, is a huge area. So if you've got a college degree and you are an expert in a space, to start teaching as an adjunct can really help build up your portfolio. And then also, again, in these back office sides of the universities, and for profit education, it's really booming. It's a yeah. huge business. And that keeps you young being on those campuses anyway, just well, being you, in that environment. You don't want to be afraid of young people. You yeah. want to embrace it. Yeah. Right? And a lot of people, as they get older, they're like, oh, these young bucks. But yeah. Don't be afraid. Get in Go there. They're more afraid of you. Yeah. Yeah. You know? and it's true. Okay. Now, what about the nonprofits? Where are the opportunities? I there? love it when people yeah. are going through, whether it's a downsizing or by choice to make a career transition right. to get into nonprofits because there's so many great cause it's driven. It's rewarding. It's rewarding and yeah. they think that they can, a lot of them think they can't afford good corporate talent. Right. But if you go out there and you're sitting there and you say, listen, I might take a little bit of a haircut to come and work mm -hmm. for this Watch cause. It. I need a, no. <laughs> I never have to worry about a haircut. And so, but you go in there and you, you take a little bit and step back financially. It's very rewarding, and once you get in the swing of it, yeah. you actually become more marketable within that arena, and you can get a job for more money. Well, you need personality for that sort of thing, though, don't you? You need to be something that's gregarious and, and good with people. Well, I think it doesn't hurt, right? I mean, I think if you've been sitting in a, in a corner, in a cubicle, and you haven't lifted your head up in 20 years, you got yeah. some problems. Yeah. And it's you about bigger problems than being unemployed. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's self-improvement. You've got to go out there, take a Dale Carnegie class, learn how to talk to people. Yes. And mm -hmm. lastly, what about people who are in jobs and you want a raise? And I think a lot of people feel like, well, they're just grateful to have the job, but yeah. is there a time, a place, a way to ask for that? I think everybody has to look at their own situation. They say, what's the ROI, the return on investment that I'm doing for my company? And or what expenses am I saving for our, my company? Mm -hmm. And if you look at your job, no matter what you're doing yeah. in that way, you take that to your boss and you yeah. say, this is what I earn for the company. This is what I save the company. Yeah. And here's what I cost. Right. 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 Terrific. It you're works. smart. You are smart. <laughs> smart. I'm coming back. Yes. 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 Yes.